I received a comment where someone was getting an error in their REST SIM model, and it, the error seemed to deal with uh, some missing data or a data set being empty. So what I went in and did is I broke one of the working REST SIM models and to try to reproduce that error. And I wanted to go through the process of, of getting that error and how to fix it. So this is this used to be a working REST SIM model, but we're going to run it. We're going to see that it actually crashes, and for this particular uh, simulation, it crashed at 10%. And we can see here that it says that the data is undefined or missing on 11 January 2019 at 5 o'clock. And my simulation time period uh, started at on 10 January 2019. So obviously it needs data during that time period where it's missing data for it to, to work. So we're going to go take a look at the DSS file. First thing we're going to do is go to this alternative. So this alternative was with RP. And we're going to look at time series. And we see that the DSS file is uh, located here. So I have a directory that's called YouTube model and it's just a constant 500 CFS release. So we're going to go in and we're going to look at that. So we're going to look at constant 500 CFS release in DSS view. So this was the file. And remember that um, ResSim uses DSS to get the input data, but also to write out the, the results of the simulation. And I'll go back to the alternative. You can see here that you specify where the DSS file is along with, you may have multiple paths in that DSS file. So you also need to specify what the different parts are, the paths to uh, that you want REST SIM to, to use to get its input data. So if we go look at this data, it was complaining that there was no data at 11 January. And you can see this is where I broke it. I took the, uh, I had constant 500 CFS, so I just took out a block of 500 CFS. And so to fix this, we first have to tell it that we want to allow editing. And we should be able to just fill this. So I selected, I uh, started where I had known data and ended where I had known data. And for this case, you can either do linear fill or repeat fill. You'll get the same answer. And then we're going to fill in that gap that I had created. And we can save it. And then we'll close it. Okay. So now we've uh, hopefully filled in that that the missing data that we had. So we'll close this. Now I'm going to rerun it, but I still expect to get this same error message. And this can be something that you might find a little bit frustrating because then you think that you filled in the gaps and then you go back to DSS, but it's still giving you the error message and you can't find any gaps. Well, it's actually because you, you no longer have a problem with the DSS file, but you need to run a new extract. And all that means is that you're telling ResSim that you have new data out there that needs to be extracted or brought back into, uh, into ResSim. So if we go to simulation edit, make sure that you have the right alternative checked and then run a new extract and hit OK and then compute it. Now you'll see that it runs all the way through. So remember that if you go out and you change your data in DSS, you have to run a new extract. Uh, one other issue that I have also noticed, I'll get back to the to the DSS file. Here we have this, the, we'll open up constant 500 CFS again. And the data is hourly data for this. 
and also my simulation was hourly data. So as, as a habit, I tend to create a data file that's in the same time step as what I want the res sim simulation to be. And that's not real difficult, but for instance, if this was daily data, but you want it as hourly, you can just go to tools and then do math functions and then time functions. And you can do a change in the time interval. Or if you have irregular data, RESSIM is not really going to like irregular data. And irregular just means that you have it at varying times uh, throughout the day. So you could do irregular to regular if you need to make that change, or you could do change time interval. So you could change time interval from, I mean, if it was daily, then you do daily to one hour. And that's it. Yeah. I, I don't know that you always need to do that. Sometimes ResSim can make that change, but I find that it's just cleaner if I make the DSS file have the same time step that I want to use in ResSim. So it's just a matter of personal preference. And again, so it runs all the way through, no problems there. Um, now remember, I'm working in the simulation uh, module. So if you, and a lot of times you'll, develop the entire model and then run it in a simulation module and then try to, um, to, to debug it, and which is fine. You can debug in the simulation module, but remember if you want it to save to the base directory, which means that it'll also appear in the reservoir network module, then you want to right click on this and then do save to base directory. So if you want your changes that you make in the simulation module save to the reservoir network or to the base directory, then make sure that you do save to base directory. Um, it also, the re, while I'm here, I'll just mention replace from base directory. If you do make a change in the simulation module, but then you find that you really don't want that change, you want to go back to what was in the base directory, then just do replace from base directory. Uh, so hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Um, if so, feel free to subscribe to the channel and you'll find out when more of these videos are coming out. And thanks for watching this one.